Well, there we go, I'm through that. So, lesson learned, don't exit the dungeon, cause you're just gonna have to repeat it. At least I got a level up out of that, so not all was pointless. Um, now let's see, is the conveyor belt still going the right way? It is. Okay, so that stayed in place. That guy is spitting electricity like a madman. I'm gonna run away from him. Because he does not seem like a nice person. Okay, wait. We open that slightly. That does that one. What does this one do? How do I open this door? I feel like there's something with those. With like these things. That I'm not really understanding yet. And I feel like it has to be set up like this. But yeah, there's probably something in those things that I'm missing on what exactly to do with it. Let's see. Okay, we can access information. I think we already got information on everything. Uh, let's get more information on the doors because clearly I'm stuck. The energy pot must be charged. Energize first. In the pod to your left, and then enter the pod next to the locked door. Okay, so how do I energize is the question. I'm a little bit confused on what they mean exactly with energize yourself in the pod. Okay, we can't walk past that. That's a little annoying. Oh, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, now we're energized. So we walk in here? No. Wait, we were super energized just now. Okay, see how, look how energized we were, are. Okay, yeah, that's, okay, that's how you do it. And then we've gotten one of the figurines. Okay, I'm making progress. We got some progress going here. So where else can we use this? Here? Yep, I guess we opened that. Okay, we have to beat you. Oh, just one guy? We can just do that with normal attacks then. Fucking Luca needs some healing, but that's okay. I'll heal them in a bit. Oh, nice critical aid. Good job, Robo. Frog squash. Sounds cool. Let's see, a high potion. And 50,000 G. What? What? This place is making me loaded. Is there anything else in here? Doesn't look like it. Okay. So I now get how these things work. What was in here? Lift. I now get how these things work. Let's see, I still need to get one of those guys over there to get this other doll. And that's our main priority now. We've gone through there. I don't think that it, this is anything we need to concern ourselves with at the moment. I can't get past that little knob. So maybe I need to go to a higher floor and see uh there's nothing in here that i can do anything with uh, yeah i can't get past that i can get past here okay here is where i want to go next and energize myself so i gotta find one of those spots to energize myself and then run back over there right i think that's the idea but could I make it all the way? I guess this would be upstream. So yeah, I wanna go in that pod. So let's run down there. Except this thing is in the way. I, I can't walk past this thing. Which means I have to walk all the way around. And I feel like that's quite a long way to walk. So because we're energized now. 
I mean, we're kind of running, but I still am afraid I won't make this in time. Oh, wait, I did. Okay. No problem then. Okay, a high eater and a turbo eater. I'm not sure what a turbo eater does. Oh, hey, this guy is following us. You wanna follow me? It's not really following me anymore. Oh, no, there he goes. Can you follow me down here? Just keep following me. Yep, over here. Over here. Yep. We might have to take this guy out. Because we... No, no, we can get past him. Okay, good. Cool. So... I think then that I figured out the main gimmick of this dungeon. Then we'll bring you up here. And cool, they cancel each other out. We can get a Vigilance hat and another Vigorine. Um, so, Robo. Oh yeah, Aussie's pants. We could wear Aussie's pants with someone because it would be pretty good. Prevents all status ailments. That would basically mean that we could get rid of Shala's amulet. But I might just give it to someone else. Yeah, I'll just give it to um, the frog. That's pretty good. Actually, you stop having that. Um, just wear a headband for a little bit. Because I think I want to give the golden stud to you. And I'll give the silver stud. Not the silver earring. The silver stud to you. And I think I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, yeah. Cool. So I think we did everything down here now. So now we just need to get back up. And find where we have to place the two tokens. And after we do that, I think we can actually pay a visit to Mother Brain. Which I think is pretty exciting. Also, I will do a quick heal. And I also saved. Because I don't want to have to redo things again. What? It just froze there for a little bit. Welcome home, Prometheus. It's a girl robo? Atropos? Yes, it's been some time, hasn't it? Come and join me. There's no need to pretend you're on their side anymore. Pretend? Hee <laughs> hee, unlike the other R-Series units, Prometheus was given a special task. To live with humans and study them as a species. That's a lie. It's no lie. Tell them, Prometheus. Step aside now, Prometheus. We'll eliminate these humans and go see Mother. Robo. Oh yeah, Dinker. What are you doing, Prometheus? I will not allow you to hurt them. You have been damaged, then. They must have tampered with you. I'll destroy them, and then I can fix you. Atropos, you have changed. You are not the robot I knew before. No, I have been upgraded. Mother remade me to eliminate humans more efficiently. Step aside, Prometheus. My name is Robo. Prometheus. Nerdink. Please wait. Stand back and leave this to me. Oh, one on one? Atropos. Prometheus. Okay, a one on one. We haven't done one of these in forever. Actually, I want to try and electrocute. Ooh, this looks really cool. 
1,000 damage. It costs incre an incredible amount of MP. So let's actually try something like Robo Tackle instead. You heal about 300 though. Oh yeah, Robo Tackle does close to the same amount for much less MP. So I think I'm going to stick with Robo Tackling here. Hey, you're not really doing all that much damage to me. Oh, damn it, did a regular punch. That's okay. Oh, she did a robo attack on me. Oh, that actually hurt. I think we need to heal. She gets way more turns than I do. Let's do a cure beam. And then we're gonna have to do a robo attack on next. Oh, that looked bad. Ah, 145, not too bad. Robo tackle. 800. Ha ha ha! A proximity bomb? How much is that gonna do? Because we can do that. 129. See, that's not too bad. Robo tackle does a lot more. 809. And I'm gonna do it again. Okay, Proximity Bomb is gonna put us down to 300. At that point, we probably should heal because I she does have attacks that do like 300 damage. So next turn, we should heal. And we do get a turn. I don't really get the speed stats, I have to say, because sometimes it seems like she's quicker and gets like two turns before I get one, but then other times I get a few turns before she gets one. It's a little bit odd, I have to admit, but it's okay. We seem to be doing just fine in this one-on-one. -on -one. It's been forever since we've done any one-on-ones, like the last time was when we just had Chrono in our party. And, you know, now now we have all these characters, yet Robo still has a one-on-one. -on -one. Is this doing enough damage? Proximity Bomb is gonna happen again. I mean, yeah, we are gonna heal again, just to make sure we keep our health up. It seems like we will have enough MP for a while. Not quite sure. I... Only 57. Wow. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Pr Prometheus? It's been some time, hasn't it? Atropos? I'm damaged. What happened? Atropos. My memory banks. I must have, yes, when, when mother overrode my old programs. I, I backed up my memory. I'm sorry, Prometheus. Save your energy, I'll repair. You cannot. Core systems, failing. Power to, do memory banks. Critical, Atropos. I want you to have this. You can plug it into your circuits. Please take care of it. Goodbye, bro, me, DS. No, Atropos. Oh, that was like Robo's sister. Atropos's ribbon raises Robo's speed by three and magic defense by 10. So that's an equip item? Wait, ribbon? That, that can't be it. It's not the flea bust here. Not here. Or is it a key item? Wait, no, I don't see it here. I'm not quite sure how to uh, put on the ribbon she gave us. And I feel kind of bad. Because I kind of feel like we should. Also, I want to put on Ozzy's pants. Just because Robo can wear some dirty pants. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure how we utilize that. I am going to go ahead and take this opportunity to save again. 
But yeah, you guys will have to let me know how I apply that item to Robo or if it's just an automatic item or if there's something else that I need to do with it or how it works basically. Okay, so we can place one doll here and another here. There were a few other of the spots. I'm kind of wondering that if you place them there, if maybe something would have happened. But whatever. I think it's time to visit Mother Brain. Whoa. Whoa, that's a cool sprite. I love the effect on it. So you managed to reach me. I am the Mother Brain of this RY series factory. Come, Prometheus. Allow me to restore your logic, or reset your circuitry, and clear your cache of memories. Then we can dispose of those filthy humans together. I must apologize, I cannot permit you to do that. My memories are too valuable to be deallocated, and so are my friends. You would betray me to side with these humans. You would turn against all of robot kind. Humans have taught me a great deal. Chrono, Marty, Luca, Frog, and Ayla. I want to see the future that they bring about. Ho ho ho. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha. Oh, don't make me laugh, Prometheus. There is no future for the humans. I'll show you just how little hope you have. Okay, well, we're fighting. I should have restored his MP. I just realized. Um, I'm gonna just do that now. He could use a high ether. Let's give that to you, Robo. Okay, you're re you can recover... You can recover 1,000 by using those screens. I, I saw that. Yeah, the displays. We're gonna have to take out the displays first because they heal way too much. About 500 on each of the displays and that took them out. Oh, but she's running wild without displays. Ah, that's not too bad actually. How much does a regular sword slash do? 300. It's not great. What about a robo tackle? Oh, that does a lot more damage, actually. Um, what do I want to do here? Let's try a flare. I want to see how badly this damages her. 1,000. Okay, that is sweet. Um, wait, what is frog squash? Hit all foes. Damage higher when HP is low. That should probably do pretty well, because his HP is pretty much half. Whoa! Look at that! It's a giant freaking frog! Oh, that is a cool animation. Oh, damn it. I think Luca is confused. Uh, I want to do a heal beam on all. Luca can't do that. Uh, let's go ahead and give a Pansea to her. And Frog Squash isn't going to do that much this time. So let's do a regular attack. Oh my. That hurts. That hurts. A lot. Oh wow, that only did one. How much will you do now that we're at like 200? 789. Eh. It's not really worth keeping her at or keeping Frog at a low HP for. I think we're better off with flares. Cause that flare did a lot, didn't it? What? No, that didn't really do a lot at all. I don't really feel like Frog is contributing much this battle. Oh my god! Goodness. What the heck? That. That. Hmm. Um. Yeah. Wow. Okay.
I'm, I'm screwed now. Because there's no way I'm going to have time to revive and keep someone alive. And now Luca is confused so we can't even heal others. And she'll die here. That is a tough fight. That is a tough fight. But let's uh, try it again. Because I think I can do this. But maybe without Frog. Because he didn't really help me all that much. If I'm honest. Okay. Battle again. I swapped in Ayla. Cause I, or Ayla I mean. Because I was like. Hey. She has charm. So we can try to steal something from her. I totally forgot that that is something that I wanted to do. And Frog wasn't working out. So he was going to leave anyway. Um. Luca still has the multiple hit tech, so I think we can just use her fire to get rid of all the things. Oh, a blue plate! Huh. I mean, that's not overly necessary to do then. Because a blue plate, we already have, we already have that. No, we have the blue vests, which are even better than the plates. So I would definitely say that it's not really needed to have Ayla in the party. So if I fail again, I'm probably gonna not use her. Um, can I do a triple tech with these three, by the way? I wanna see. No, I don't have any triple techs. Okay. We could do a beast toss. I don't really wanna do that. Flame kick? Sure, let's try a flame kick because I wanna also heal everyone. 830. It's not bad. Not fantastic by any means, but not bad. Ah, you keep doing annoying things. Let's do a heal beam on everyone. Oh my. And you guys will just have to do regular attacks here? Because your attacks are locked. I might have to put on items that prevents them from getting... That prevents lock. Because that is... Starting to get a little bit annoying. True to be told. Also, you attack way too much. And way too powerful. Ayla is dead. Okay, this is a tough boss for sure. For sure, uh, yeah, it, it just keeps attacking and we can't keep up the healing. And we're still not allowed to do techs. We're gonna have to somehow stop her from disabling my techs because else there's no way I'm gonna be able to survive this. Because I think this is gonna be another fail. See, 600 damage is just insane. Yeah, and, and, and his HP just dropped lower. Nothing even happened and Robo just died. Oh, wait. That must be Ozzy's pants. I think Ozzy's pants damage you over time. So I'm definitely not going to equip those. I think I'm going to sweep Ayla out because I don't really need a blue plate. Um, and we'll give this a third shot. Okay, this time Chrono is in my party. Uh, Luca is wearing a clarity cap, so she can't be confused. At the very least, I figured that was a pretty good idea. Chrono, I gave him the weapon that actually hits 1.5 times damage on magical beings, since this seems like a pretty magical being. I'm not sure how accurate that is. Plus, we now also will have um, we'll have triple tech, so that should come in handy too. That said, let's try, let's try Electrocute here. And let's try Megaton Bomb. Okay, that does a lot of damage. 1000. Megaton Bomb. The Flare. The 1600. Nice. Okay, running wild. So you're going to do us quite a bit of damage here. Yep, but we, we can 
take that. Oh, you're gonna do it again. In that case, okay, uh, I want to do a heal beam here, and I want to do a dual attack fire sword. Let's try a fire sword. Eight hundred and nine. It's not bad. Not ideal. Okay, but of course, uh, Chrono can still be affected by it. But I figured if his uh, sword hits extra against magical beings it might be okay since we'll still do decent damage that turns out to not be the case because that damage was crap he is doing nowhere near enough damage so here yeah, I'm gonna have to find some way to prevent him from getting locked up too or I'm gonna have to do something else but I'm guessing this isn't a magical being then. Uh, let's just eat this yourself so you can get the lock off of you. Um, oh, damn it. Let's do another heal beam because we're gonna... I'm gonna constantly need healing because the amount of damage that she does is absolutely insane. Like she keeps almost killing my entire party. Um, don't I have... Yeah, Lapis. I, I need to use this right now. Ah, oh, damn it, you prevented. Err! I wanted to do a triple tech and you ruined it. And now I'm gonna have to do another heal beam because it, it just boosts it up more and more and more and more. And both of them are dead? I'm screwed. I'm screwed again. I legitimately am not sure how to even remotely do this. Because this damage, it it ramps up and up and up and up and up until she does like 700, 800 damage and just wipes my characters in one go, no matter how much HP they have. There has to be some trick to this, but... I'm not figuring it out yet. Okay, this is gonna be my last attempt for a little bit because if I don't get it now, I, I need to take some time to take a break, maybe figure things out. So, I added Magus instead of Chrono. He is also immune to all statuses and I gave him a black gem that should open up a new triple tech. So I figured that might be pretty cool too. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and start actually lightning too. Uh, once he's done that, that should take out the displays at least. There we go. Maybe we need to keep one of the displays alive. Maybe that is the trick to it. Maybe we don't want to take them all out. I just thought of that. That's okay. I'm actually going to wait for Magus to come back. And it doesn't have the triple deck for it. I thought it would unlock the triple deck. It says on the item description. But now it doesn't give it to me. Well, that's a bit mean. Um, I'm gonna go ahead then and cast Barrier here. Um, you can go ahead and do a Robo Tackle here. And let's do a Flare. But yeah, your, your, your power boosts up more and more every turn. That's the thing. That's the issue. Like, I can do a lot of damage to her. But it doesn't really matter if I get killed. That only does 600, so that's not even anywhere near the amount of damage that I need to do. Uh, so maybe Magus isn't a good option then. He doesn't really seem to offer anything as of yet. The flare should do a lot of damage again. And it does. So that's good. But this will hurt once more. 
Yep, hurts even more than before. Um, let's try lightning too. Maybe I can find some elemental weakness at least. It is not lightning, I can tell you that much. It seems like fire does the most to her so far. Dark and lightning didn't really seem to work. So that's unfortunate. And now this is barely doing anything. Wait, breakdown? Wait, did we do it? What the heck? I did it! Okay, well, that's... That's good. I didn't think I was doing that much damage, but somehow I got through it. I'll take that. Thank you very much. I'm glad I don't have to do this a fifth try. Per me, the, yes, wh why? The Terraton arm and the Crisis arm. All factory operations have been permanently taken offline. None of the machines here will ever be reactivated. Robo. All right, let us continue. Oh, Robo. You're okay with that? It's pretty cool of you. Okay, so let's check. We got the Terraton arm, which is 180 power. Or 150 boost, at least. Um, and then the other one we got is the Crisis arm. Last digit, digit of own HP determines damage. Wait, I'm confused. So, if I have 1 HP, would it do 844 damage? Am I understanding that right? Since I have 845 HP, does it... Is its attack power basically my max HP minus my current HP? Or does it work differently? Uh, you guys will have to let me know on the inner workings of the... Um, crisis arm compared to the Terraton arm and let me know um, what works well and yeah uh, that said as well as the ribbon thing that like um, what was her name the robot girl gave us how does that work because I don't see the item anywhere in my inventory does it auto apply or whatever yeah let me know about those things uh, that said that will do it for today next time around we're gonna take on another side quest maybe i can figure out the sun temple and we'll do that we'll have to see but for now thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you guys next time on chrono trigger